all retire immediately. You are not good at this. You should be dentists and plumbers. Okay. The, the, 84%, well, there are too many Republicans. That, yeah, then you use this to defeat the Republicans, you morons, okay? 74% of Republicans want paid family leave. If you say you can't pass that, what you're saying is you're incompetent and should retire immediately. No, well, we're going to get it passed. We're going to get it passed from the outside. I'm going to put so much pressure. I went on a right-wing show, 75% of their audience said, yes, I want paid family leave. You, because yeah. if you go to conservatives and you say, yeah. hey, do you want moms to get 12 weeks off to take care of their yeah. baby? Or do you want to throw them back on the assembly line in the coal mines? And, and one say, of no, the, no, give the moms 12 weeks off. And one of the great things that I admire about you, Jenk, is that you're not afraid to make common cause with those uh, you know, on the quote unquote right. That's what we have to do. We have to understand that we do have those things in common and that we all want the same basic things. And we have to strive for those and overcome the way in which we have been divided by the media. And, you know, if if that means voting for, uh, heaven forbid, Joe Biden in 2024, and I hope that your efforts succeed, I pray that your efforts succeed. Um, I, you know, so be it. I, I, I do not want a fascist America. We can, we cannot have a fascist America. If, if I can see it in 2028, then, then I'm okay with that. And, um, you know, it's, it's interesting because I think your background is kind of a, you, you, you originally started as a Republican. I, I originally started in a very conservative uh, family and, and maybe that gives you some perspective that, uh, your ordinary bog standard, uh, DNC type wouldn't necessarily have. Yeah, absolutely. And so, look, how do you reach out to the other side? Uh, I have a section in Chapter 7, last chapter, that explains what happens when progressives take over. Mm -hmm. What do we get? What does America look like? Right? Yeah. We're going to lock them all up, right? (laughs) Instead, instead, I have a section in Chapter 7 called Love. Mm -hmm. And here's what Republicans don't understand. Progressives fight for people we don't know. Mm -hmm. Because our wagons of empathy are larger. So it's not that conservatives don't have empathy. They have empathy for their family, their friends, their community, their church, right? And sometimes, unfortunately, their race, yeah. right? Yeah. And so what, what makes progressives better, in my opinion, is that their wagons of empathy, are, circles of liberty, are much larger. We yeah. include all races, all religions, all backgrounds, all genders, et cetera. Because we are America. We are the community. Okay. That's how we think. So when we win, we're not going to crush the conservatives. Right. We're going to give them the same paid family leave. We're going to give them the same higher wages. Exactly. We're going to give them the same free health care that the rest of the developed world has. Yeah. And we're going to be decent to them because we are at our core decent people. Yeah. And so and in because, of- because we follow the golden rule, we want to do unto others as as they would do unto uh, uh, us and, and them. Well, I don't know. You see, that doesn't necessarily follow because some of them do want to lock us up. But but the but the basic point is that we we all want good things. We all want to raise our, our families. We all want to have good lives. And, and we want that for everyone. We don't want just want it for ourselves. We don't just want a, a small crust, a small stratum of, of people who are doing really well. We want to to spread that to to everyone, Republicans, right wing, I, I dare say, Trumpists included. Yeah, 100 percent. So, guys, here's where it, it requires nuance, because some people might look at me and go, well, I've never seen anyone hit, hit Republicans as hard as you. Right. And now you're telling me we're going to do kumbaya with them. No, hold on. Hold on. We win first. Then we do kumbaya. And yeah. we do it on our terms yeah. because the conservatives, unfortunately, do not have a good track record of including us. Yeah, right? they do not. I mean, no. that's, they, and so we must win for us. But what I'm telling conservatives is don't worry. When we win, you schmucks win, too. We're not trying to take anything from you. <laughs> and by the way, if you're looking for where your problems are, it's not the brown guy that crossed the border without a dollar in his pocket. He doesn't have any power at all. You schmucks, if you want to look at what's causing the problems, look up, look yeah. up, look up, right? And yeah. we've got to unite on class. There's no question about yes. it. Yes. And and you're right. I give no quarter to Republicans. In fact, Kirkus Review said the Republicans come in for a shellacking in my book, okay? Yeah. But, but 
it's not just after we win. Look, I'm I grew up a Republican because I was misled by mainstream media thinking that Ronald yeah. Reagan was the gipper and and represented a shining city on a hill. Sure. They sold me a bill of goods when in reality they were running the Southern strategy, right? Yeah. But but at least I lived a Republican and so I know how they think. I've been in their yeah. political groups. I've been in their debate clubs. I've been all I I was are you kidding me when I was in law school? I went to the Federalist Society meeting which wow. is a scary, weird place, okay? Mm-hmm. But I've been inside the layer, okay? Yeah. And uh, and so I know their mindset, and I know how to appeal to them because they're they're average guys, but the right-wing mind, and I, I hate to offend them, but I'm going to do it because I that's part of telling the truth is you offend people, right? Mm-hmm. But their driving problem is fear, yeah. They're too afraid of others. Yeah. They're too afraid of change. They're too afraid of something that's new. And what I want to tell them is, I know you're lashing out at us thinking we're like here, for example, I grew up Muslim. My right. family's Muslim. I'm atheist now, mm-hmm. but my background is Muslim. Right. Oh my God. It's a five alarm fire of fear for them. Yeah. And then when I, when I break it down I go, brother, do you like the football? I like football. You like subs. I like subs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, we like, and we go back and forth. By the way, you like girls. I like girls. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then the left goes crazy. Don't, don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> it's, I once had an LA times reporter call me and trying to find a scandal on me right. when Bernie was backing me saying, and he literally, I swear to God, he asked this question. Mm-hmm. Is it true that you're attracted to women? <laughs> and i told him literally guilty as charged <laughs> wow yeah it's this is the environment in which we live but you you have given me hope jank you have given me hope for 2024 and and 2028 so uh i'm going to i'm going to uh, stay the course i'm going to um i'm going to not jump off the reservation. I'm going to uh, ask and push for uh, Joe Biden to uh, to step aside. And, and you're not the only one. I was I was speaking with uh, Jeff Cohen of, of Roots Action, and he is very much in, in favor of the same thing. He uh, has a, a similar effort going. And there are many, many, I think the, the vast majority of, of folks in the Democratic Party who do not want Joe Biden to to be the person. And I I think in the hopes that we will not fall into fascism and that we will maintain democracy, that is an essential thing to do. So um, thank you so much uh, for for, uh, writing this uh, book. Again, it is just as coming. How progressives are going to take over the country and America is going to love it. Circle your empathy wagons. Check out Jenks' book, and uh, again, where can folks sign the petition to ask Joe to step aside? So tyt.com slash dropout mm-hmm. is for the Biden petition. By the way, we have one on paid family leave, too. Please check that out when you're there. Yes. Um, and and then the book is tyt.com slash justice. And that's got the whole battle plan. So it's it explains where we how we got here how uh, corporate rule took over and unfortunately took over the Democratic Party, but how we're going to fight back, how we're going to win, and and what it's going to look like when we do. And and guys, I'll leave you one, one last piece of hope, okay? Uh, and please come over and check out Operation Hope when we launch it on TYT. Yeah. Um, people think that progressives can't win and that we're weak and that we're ineffectual, et cetera. That's the propaganda that you hear all the time. Oh, what has Bernie ever gotten done? When progressives can't get anything done, progressives can't win, et cetera. No, there was a time in this country when we were lions. Mm-hmm. And there was from 1938 to 1978 on economic yeah. issues. Yeah. Roosevelt, Kennedy, LBJ, the strongest politicians America has ever had. And also on economic issues, the most progressive and they fought and they fought and fdr said i welcome their hatred and i'm going to defeat their lust for greed he loved fighting republicans that's why he won four elections these current cowards i'm sorry but it's true that our democratic leadership they don't want to fight the republicans they have the same donors as the republicans yeah they're it's the same team they're playing good cop bad cop msnbc and fox news are playing good cop bad cop but when progressives fight we win and the country loves it and in that 40-year stretch 
We built the greatest middle class the world has ever seen, and we're going to do it again. Amen. Jenk Uger, Justice is Coming, and tyt.com slash dropout. Jenk, thanks so much for being with us today on Face Palm America. It's been a fantastic conversation. Thank you. Thank you, Beowulf. 